back to my channel. Today it's all about my quick and fast journaling bag. This bag is one I can grab, throw in my bag without much, you know, if I'm just not wanting to take my whole art bag with me, I can take this bag and create on the go. And I absolutely love it for that. It's got a lot of little pockets that I can add things to, but I don't have a lot in here because it is my quick and fast bag. Let me show you what I've got in here. Pull everything out. There'll be links in the description box below to what I have in this bag. But this is my quick and fast art journal bag or sketchbook bag, urban sketching, whatever I'm doing that day. Most of the time it's sketching my day. So this is my quick and fast bag. So I have a glue stick. I have a little container that I can put water in. It is very, very strong. It's hard to get open, um, but it will keep the water from leaking. And I use this for that. Um, and that's in the back. I have a spray bottle full of water so I can refill my water brush. The spray bottle will allow me to wet my palette as well as refill the water brush when I need it. This water brush is a Jane Davenport water brush and it is a fine tip. I have a couple of Tombos, the Tombow Foodinesco brush pen in the hard tip and in the calligraphy pen. I have my favorite Uniball Signo Micro 207, which I can stick all of these right here in the front of the pouch so I have easy access to my pens. I have my favorite Bic Velocity 0 0.7 um, mechanical pencil. I have a ballpoint pen. It's a Pilot Easy Touch. It's a fine tip. It's a super fine tip and sometimes I just want to draw, write and draw with a, a ballpoint. I have another waterproof pen which is my Uniball Vision. It's in fine tip. I really like this one because you can start out with a fine line and go over it and get a thicker line and it is waterproof. I have a Faber-Castell Golden Faber in black and I like this because I can use it for shading. It's pretty easy. And then I have a Mono Twin Tombow. So I've got a wider point and a fine point and it works really good. So this one does bleed so I don't use it for, for a lot. Um, but it, it's an oil based. And then my palette. This is a mixture of paints all from Prima. It's got some of the vintage pastels, some of the classic, as well as some of the woodlands. So it's, it's a mix of, the, of three different palettes and it's the colors that I really like. I am working on getting a card cut this out to put in here and I'm going to actually paint test swatch all of these and I'm really excited about this because I just made this palette up because these are some of the colors I really like to use but as I said this one is great because I've got a red a blue and a yellow so I can mix any colors I want it's also got some of the um, browns and a black and a gray and some bright reds as well as some pastels. So if I'm going to paint flowers or going to paint something urban, this one works for me because it's got like the brick colors and the grays and the colors of the sky. And with the greens, I can mix my own greens. So that's this little bag and I really, really like it. I do make sure that my pencil is sharpened prior to going um, out and I use a Prismacolor sharpener because I can get a really good tip on my pencils here. I can choose whether I want a blunt tip or a sharp tip and normally it's not really blunt it's just wider. I use the wider tip for when I'm going to be going out and about and so these work great and this little bag I can throw the pencil sharpener in here but since I only have that one pencil I don't really worry about it but this is a fun grab and go take my sketchbook, take my journal, and it's great. <laughs>